Now let's look at an application of rational functions. The Game Commission introduces 100 deer into newly acquired state game lands. The population P of T of the herd is modeled by P of T equals 20 times the quantity 5 plus 3T all over the quantity 1 plus 0.04T where T is the number of years since the deer were introduced and T must be greater than or equal to 0. Confirm that 100 deer were initially introduced. So to do that, they're wanting us to actually figure out when t is zero, so when no years have passed since the deers were introduced, so when again, when our p, t value is zero, we're wanting to make sure this function is gonna give us a value of 100. So when no time has passed or when t is zero, we wanna make sure we're gonna get 100. So substituting in zero for t, we get 20 times 5 all over 1, which is 100. So that does confirm that when t is 0, there are 100 deer. Or initially there are 100 deer. What will the population be after 10 years? After 50 years? So again, in the situation, they're asking us to figure out what is p of 10, because 10 is the number of years since the deers were introduced. Substituting in 10 gives us 20 times 35 all over, over 1.4. 20 times 35 is 700 divided by 1.4, which is 500 deer. Solving for P of 50, we get 20 times 5 plus 3 times 50, all divided by 1 plus 0 0.04 times 50, which gives us 3,100 all over three, which is about 1,033 deer. So we can state this as a sentence. After 10 years, there will be 500 deer. And after 50 years, there will be about 1,033 deer. Determine the horizontal asymptote of P of T and interpret it in the context of the problem. So to determine the horizontal asymptote, we need to figure out what the degree on top is and the degree on bottom. I'm going to actually first uh, expand out the numerator so that I can see what that leading term is. So when I expand that out, I get 20 times 5, which is 60, excuse me, which is 100, plus 20 times 3t, which is 60t, all over 1 plus 0.04t. So the degree on top, so remember degree is the highest exponent. So in this case, it's going to be 1, so the degree on top is 1, and the degree in the denominator is also one. So to find that horizontal asymptote, that's gonna be dividing the leading term on top by the leading term on bottom. So the leading term on top is actually 60t. Remember the leading term is the term that has, that holds that highest degree, that has that highest exponent. The leading term on bottom is 0.04t. When I divide those out, I get 1500. So my horizontal asymptote is 1,500. What does this mean in the context of the problem? So if you think about it, a horizontal asymptote is what your equation is going to get really, really close to as time is approaching infinity. So in the context of this problem, what this is meaning is that as time goes on, your function is going to flatten out to 1,500. So as 
time increases, the number of deer will flatten out to around 1,500.